a little project we're gonna work on today. Remember the oil leaking past the cylinder rings in the compressor issue? Well, I've got a piston ring compressor kit. We got some piston rings. Shout out to Kevin Burgess for sending me these because Haldex never sends them when you order them. So that's kind of a fun little game. And then an RN26A, I believe, is a part number um, gasket kit. I'll leave a link in the description. I have no service manual whatsoever for this, so this is all going to be a mystery to me when I take it apart. I'm not sure what's going to happen. It may all end up in the trash, but I'm going to at least make an attempt to rebuild this and take the glazing off of the cylinders uh, I think this will work hopefully if not we'll have to wait and I'll have to order a flex hone but you know the deal on this channel I'll be as transparent as possible let's get started
Okay, before I go any further, I wanted to show you guys this assembly instructions. Now, to, be, to me, this totally makes sense because when I've rebuilt motors before, it's the same thing. Basically, what they're saying in this note is that you want to offset your ring gaps, which is the same thing you do in a motor when you rebuild a motor. So, I figured I would show that to you guys so you kind of understood a little bit about what's going on here. And uh, I pulled all the old rings off. I've got all the new rings set up. I've uh, been using brake cleaner on everything to clean up all the little sediment and stuff like that. Um, that might be on the areas. I went through with a brass cup and took all of the uh, gasket surfaces off. This, it didn't look bad, but I put cross hatches back in there. So we've got some nice cross hatches going in there for this air compressor. Um, this is probably not as critical as you would think it would be for like a motor. Um, you're just compressing air, you're not igniting fuel or anything like that, but you basically you wanna just get the glazing off of here and get your cross hatch pattern going. This thing I've had for numerous Subaru motor builds and it works great, but uh, just get some nice, you know, 30 to 45 degree cross hatches in there and uh, your rings should seat just fine on this compressor. I'm going to start putting everything back together piece by piece and uh, installing new gaskets on everything. It should go pretty smooth.
Well guys, there you go. Compressors back together. Let's see, uh, let me check the time here and see how long that took me. So I started at about, oh, seven o'clock and it's 8.53 right now. Not terribly hard. Uh, one thing to note, the rod cap or rod bearing cap bolts are a T30. Uh, as far as torque specs went, I uh, torqued the rod cap bearings to about 20 foot pounds. Uh, that was appropriate for the bolt size that was in there. The, I don't know what you would call this, the piston sleeve or the piston liner. This, uh, probably about 40 or 50 foot pounds. And then the head bolts I torqued to 60 foot pounds. Um, one thing to note in that piston ring kit, you won't be able to use the oiling ring. It is too wide. Uh, same thing with the oiling ring capture ring, I guess you could call it, or retaining ring, uh, which is also too wide. So you have to reuse your oil ring on the pistons. However, the scraper rings, there's four of them, work great. There is a nice amount of friction in there now and compression. So I'm pretty happy about that. Your gasket kit will look like this. It will have some leftover gaskets. Um, this is just an extra one that I had that goes on the um, intake. So I'll save those for later. I'm going to stick this bad boy back in the uh, toolbox on the truck. We'll carry it around. That way if anything ever happens with the compressor that's on there right now, we can swap it out uh, in the field. One wouldn't be fun, but what also wouldn't be fun is not being able to get your truck out of the woods. So um, we'll keep that on board. I did oil up uh, all of the assembly, the rotating assembly and everything uh, after we cleaned everything up and put it back together. And it seems to be rotating really nicely by hand. So this will go into storage until uh, an emergency occurs and we actually need it. Check out the uh, description. I'm gonna leave a bunch of links that I think might be helpful for you if you wanna rebuild one of these, including the gasket kits, the piston ring compressor, and some of the other stuff that I used in this video. Obviously, you're gonna need some brake cleaner and some uh, paper towels, but this is a straightforward, pretty simple job. Um, if you haven't rebuilt an engine before, it might look kind of foreign to you, but for me, I've done several engine rebuilds uh, in my life, so it looked very basic to me. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. But as always, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.